much. Get out, everybody! We're changed for the first dead baby joke ever written. Hey guys, loud guys. Today we are going to watch Family Guy dark humor compilation, and this is even darker. So yes. Like we have seen a lot of dark jokes, but the jokes are getting out of hand now. <laughs> and but we just love watching it because for us Indians, we never had such cartoons ever. Like adult cartoons is something that is I think so only uh, American specific mm. because we have never heard uh, some uh, adult cartoon uh, in India. It would mean like eighteen plus cartoons. Uh -huh. uh, so that kind of cartoons. Uh, pa, pa, Even kids pa, watch uh, these kind of cartoons. They watch. They do watch. Ah, uh, because there are like some teenagers jokes. sort of. Ha, of course, I think so. Teenagers ah. would surely watch it because it's so hilarious to watch. So let's watch the full video. I don't get it. Why? Why wouldn't Quagmire like me? Because he thinks you're annoying. Like people who never shut up about their kids. He, he would have been four today. I, I still don't understand. How do you drown in an inch of water? <laughs> well, I guess I don't have a new sweater and a haircut. Perhaps we should just continue the party at some other type you of. You didn't love. get the joke. No, no, I didn't get that. <laughs> so like he Why said. she was crying. She was crying because she lost her kid. Oh. And she was like, she he would have been fourteen today, and yeah. like how can someone drown in an inch of water? <laughs> and also the thing was the cutaway was like uh, like how some people do not shut up about their kid. Uh -huh. So like <laughs> she is in she's in grief, uh -huh. and, even and he's then... making fun of her uh -huh. location. No 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 wait wait wait! I know this guy. We went to high school together. We did? Oh yeah, he was a loser then, and he's a loser now. <laughs> we used to kid this guy all the time. Mrs. <laughs> mommy, Mrs. <laughs> mommy. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Well, I hate to say it, but I guess we're supposed to dig this kid up. Any volunteers? Oh, I did, kids. Oh. Well, what is it then? I'm pregnant. Huh? Dad, I swear to God, I didn't know that when I set you up with her. You're pregnant, <laughs> Meg, and there's only one thing to do. What? 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 Meg, can you turn over? I gotta get that thing out of there. <laughs> You're sitting on my shirt. I gotta put it on this hanger. What kind of thing? Oh, now, I'm shit. going to Michael's house to force him to marry you. <laughs> Big news out of Six Flags Columbus today My as they God. unveil what promises to be the largest roller coaster in the United States. That's right, Joyce. They call it the Holocaust. The, the ride has several Holocaust. Jewish groups up in arms as they go over the first rise. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. They're, they're actually pretty upset. Wow. I had heard about the Holocaust, but I never believed it till right now. And in the city, glasses are considered really sexy. <laughs> Dang, I hope her brother don't already have dibs on her. My daughter would absolutely love you. Oh. Well, of course, tonight is Randall Evan Battencourt. God, I hate understudies. Stewie. King Louis the Sixteenth has been sentenced to death by guillotine. Yay! Yay. Bye. The part guillotine. of King Louis the Sixteenth will be played by Jean de Menard. Oh. oh. Relax, you're gonna do great. <sighs> <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, wow, I can't even imagine what twisted, deviant act you've thought of this time. I want you to have sex with your father. What? What? Yeah, and I'm gonna watch. Hi, Glenn. Are you crazy? No! I we have no seen way. this one. Glenn, remember, the thing we love most about each other is that we push each other way beyond our normal boundaries. Did you enjoy your stay at the Marriott? <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> Now, one thing that makes us more cultured than our European counterparts is high school football. And why are we standing here in the parking lot? Because sometimes your team loses and you have to beat up the ref. <laughs> what part of Eatonville are you from, huh? What part of Eatonville are you from? Oh, West Eatonville. Oh, really? West Eatonville? You know Bob Hanley? I'm Bob Hanley. No kid, Stop Bob. Me. It's me, Peter Griffin. Stop! Oh, my God. How the hell are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Well, hey, oh, listen, I was really sorry to hear about your dad. Oh, that means a lot. Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to the wake. I was out of town. What it's is okay, this conversation? Kurt, it's the oh, it's the least I could do. Hey, Chris, get over here. You gotta meet my buddy, Bob Hanley. Hi, Mr. Hanley. I'm Chris. I heard a lot about you, sir. I think oh, we're done No Christmas carnival. Wow, Carter. I had no idea you were Jewish. What? Is, is that how this is coming off? Yeah, kind of. I mean, that's what everyone's saying. People think I'm Jewish? <laughs> What's up, my sisters? Ooh, I ain't sat down in a hot minute. 
What the hell? Why are you talking like that? Sorry, I have family in town. So, you want to go upstairs? Sure. So, what Ray, does that mean? Go. Wow, Stewie, you look exhausted. Yeah, because I was up super late last night beefing your mom. My mom's dead. Yeah, because I beefed her to death. Oh, what's your problem? Why are you being such a jerk? I'm sorry, Brian. I had the absolute worst night. Oh! Very funny. Who put the Ark of the Covenant in here? <laughs> <laughs> Meg is so stupid. She couldn't handle the glory of God's love. So how long have you been a member of the Rhode Island Society for Special Literary Excellence? Oh, no. I'm not a member. I'm the chaperone. Chaperone? Yeah. Uh-huh. We're in that section right over there. Hey, there he is. It's Brian Griffin. Damn it, Randy. You just spilled my juice box. What is this? Special. Special. Oh. They absolutely love your book. Oh. The simplistic writing style oh, is very people. graspable to them. Here's your award. I made it all by myself. Thanks. Hey, Brian, smell my finger. I, 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 I already can. You know, I got to tell you, I think you did a good thing. Well, I guess I just realized it's not about me. This family is what's best for Anna Lee. Oh. This is her home now. I got to let her go. I'm proud of you, Quagmire. Thanks, man. Hey, who knows? Maybe I'll bump into her in 18 years. What? Did you really think I was going to change that much? <laughs> Get out, everybody! It's hey oh. for the first dead baby joke ever written! Well, at least I didn't get robbed. And what can I do for you four fine black gentlemen today? So oh. I want to prove to you that there is no such thing as someone who is psychic. And that with the most minimal training and the right set of buzzwords, anyone can appear to be psychic. Even a complete boob like Peter. Watch this. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm psychic and I'm getting a strong feeling from you. Do you have a watch or clock that no longer works? Wow. I used to have a watch that broke. <laughs> you see, just by asking very general questions that would apply to most people, a person can appear to have inside knowledge about you. I'm also sensing that you have a dead relative. My husband died of cancer last year. Oh, my God. Awesome. Okay, uh, I'm sensing some other bad stuff. <laughs> my daughter was just in an accident. Sweet. High five. <gasps> You're high awful. Five. Hey, you don't want to hear the truth? Don't come to the park. <laughs> okay, okay, you made your point. My God, what is this? This must be the McBurger Town Slaughterhouse. <laughs> Sir, you are correct. But in here we call it Dachau. Dachau? Dachau. Dachau. Except Dachau. we spell the cow part C O W, like cow. So it's kind of a, a sort of a dark joke. Yeah, yeah, it's a Holocaust joke. That's that's really funny. God, this is a more disturbing sight than Tom Hanks and E. T. in Philadelphia. Ouch. Oh, there you go, you're good. You didn't touch me. I don't want to get AIDS. Oh. I'm just going to use the park bathroom at night. Stewie, no! Hey. I got a lollipop! Oh no. Stewie was assaulted and is imagining That's the lollipop. That's great, bud. Brian is playing a long note because he's a good friend, but because he doesn't want to have a long conversation oh. about it. Now let's stop talking about that lollipop and get to work. See. We now return to Meredith Baxter in Raped by a Clown. It was awful. He made me do things. Awful things. What kinds of things? I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back to The Price is Right. Time to spin the wheel. Top winner for the day is Peter. So, so you're going to be the first to spin it. Go ahead, Peter. Close as you can to a dollar without going over. He drank the Red Bull. All right, while we're waiting for the wheel to spin, you want to say hi to anybody? Oh, yeah, Drew, I want to say hi to Lois, Brian, Chris, Dewey, Meg, Joe, Bonnie, Craig, Mike, Cleveland, Mort, Seamus, Adam West, Dr. Hartman, Bruce Carter, Babs, Tom Tucker, Angela, Opie, Carl, Herbert, Jillian, Consuela, Giant Chicken, Chris, Top Deaf Guy! <laughs> okay, I'm sure they're happy to hear that. <laughs> Whoa, paramedics, come on down! <laughs> What? All right, class, two things today. I'm no good at math, and I don't have a certificate to teach driver's ed, so I hired a math tutor and a driver's ed guy. 
Okay, so do you use my car, or do you have, like, a special one you brought? Um, I'm the math tutor. Really? No way! So that means you're the driver's ed instructor, yes. <laughs> well, I'll be a son of a gun. That one is shiny, right. Anna. Time to learn math from a black guy, I guess. <laughs> Too bad we can't just torch the pharmacy. Oh, come on. No, we can't do that. That, that. That'd be like stealing from the insurance companies. It wouldn't be right. Oh, they're bastards. Last year after I lost my beloved Muriel, our life insurance company refused to pay on her policy. They took what should have been a pleasant experience and made it into an ordeal. Well, that doesn't totally surprise me. A friend of mine staying in my house got, um, injured, and my homeowner's insurance wouldn't pay her doctor bills. Said the policy didn't cover an active rod. Yeah, come to think of it, they wouldn't even pay for the fetus Lois lost when we went to visit the Museum of Staircases and Spring-Loaded Boxing Gloves. Yeah, you know, they don't seem to pay out on anything. <laughs> Peter, why do you look so nervous? Yeah, I promised a kid in the hospital I'd hit a home run for him. Okay, you do it. Sorry, I struck out looking. Wait, you're not the kid, I promised. No, he died last night. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hey, time machine. This is really amazing. Yeah, I used to tell people I had it, but, you know, it ends up becoming a hassle. It's like having a pickup truck. You know, everyone finds out you have one and they all want to borrow it. Hey, Stewie, can I borrow your time machine? I want to see the Brooklyn Dodgers. Or, I should have married the other girl. Or, I meant to introduce Jim Belushi to drugs. All right, that's it, Peter. We've got to do something about that awful breath. I'm making an appointment and you are going to the dentist. All right, fine. But I hate going to the dentist. Even more than I hate going to that racist eye doctor. Okay, Peter, can you tell me what's on this bottom line? N... I... Is that an O? No, no. This, I think, so. One of the, was one of the darkest compilation. And the darkest joke was of that Stewie one only. That Stewie was molested in that public bathroom. So when he came out, he's imagining having a lollipop. Because No, I didn't get that joke. So the thing is, joke. like, there is a joke about that, that, okay, when you go in this public washroom, so there are people there who might molest you, do things to you. Oh. Hmm. Uh, so, so he got, got molested there, and they told him that you have a candy, and he's just licking that licking candy. That. But he didn't have the huh. candy. And, like, the Brian, plan was, uh, he didn't want, want to talk about talk it. Talk about it, huh? <laughs> so that just, that was very, very dark, and, like, he just moved on from it. I didn't get that why he stopped the car and this just split that human, like, in two parts. If I notice his eyes, and he he looked very you know stoked. Devilish. No, he was drunk or he was something like that only. Because Stewie drunk. Huh. Dead. So what? He does he does drugs also. I have seen him in huh. one one video. I have seen he he does drugs also. Oh my god. And then and we saw Peter doing drugs. That one that's the Ferris wheel thing. Hmm. He. Huh, wheel thing. And the people died. Huh. Hmm. Because he was so drunk, so he just smacked the wheel so hard. And he was like so energetic, na? Huh. He was just can't stopping, like running, running, running. And after he saw that wheel on the, you know, people and rolling it over it. And still he was like, yeah, I did it. Yes, and the most funny one was the start one where they were just like, ooh, ooh, ah, huh? you, huh? what, you. They were you? beating that guy. <laughs> and then he started talking normally also like, oh, I am this. And then the best part was then Chris came and like, I don't know. <laughs> So that was hilarious to watch. How did you guys find it too? Let us know in the comment section below. So do like, share and subscribe. Bye. Bye.